Hi, this is Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts with one more dream, vision. I think this is more of a vision from our viewer, Jesus is Salvation 23. We read his before, and I want you to hear this. Listen to this. Hey, Pat. Okay. I have no way of describing this, so I will start at the beginning and do my best. Right now, I'm dealing with pneumonia. So with all my napping and meds, I had been off with my sleep schedule. The other night, I went to bed with my wife around midnight. It was dark. It was dark in the room, and hardly any light was coming in from the window. We prayed together, and afterwards, my wife had rolled over and went to bed. I just lay there. I could not sleep. I was staring at the ceiling and praying intently, asking God why he showed me snippets of previous visions, what they meant to me. I asked him to give me clarity and possibly show me precursors or more to the vision so I can be more of help in spreading the truth. Okay. I hear of so many people receiving visions and many of them are not consistent. So I wanted him to show me something that would prove that this way, that would prove this way or that, who is correct and who is to come and what is to come. So I remember looking out at the clock and it was 1230 AM. I still could not sleep. So I closed my eyes and continued to pray. As I closed my eyes again, this time, something was different. I saw a glow starting to form. And then I saw a large, very ancient face appear out of the darkness to my left. And it just looked at me. The face had deep sunken eyes, large forehead, a flat, wide nose with almost clipped nostrils. Like the nostrils were not as a, a thick and normal as people, and a face shaped almost like an hourglass. Weird. All I can say is it resembled a human, but almost like it was mixed with something else. The eyes looked down at me, almost inspecting me. I first thought of this, you know, was this the face of the Lord? Is he inspecting my heart? And seeing this face with my eyes close, in a dark room, you would expect me to be freaked out, but I was just staring in confusion. I didn't, I did not feel threatened, but it was a little freaky to me what I was seeing. Just as the face appeared out of the shadows, it backed out of the light, so to speak, into the darkness. From there, another face appeared out of the darkness directly in front of me. It was about a quarter of the size of the face of the other face that, that I saw. And I could only see from the forehead down to about the nose. His head was cocked slightly to the left, facing my right. Okay. But his eyes were trained on me. It was like a movie where the bad guy is watching from the shadows and only a thin strip of light was shining across his face on a diagonal showing only what I mentioned. Okay. This face ahead uh, was staring at me and seemed disgusted at me. This one, this one startled me and made me a little nervous, very nervous and alarmed. He looked at me. He looked to be about his fifties to sixties. He had a thick head of salt and pepper hair that combed over in the front. Okay. He looked possibly Mediterranean or Middle Eastern with a thick, solid forehead and rounded cheeks. The first face looked gaunt and old, while this face looked plump and slightly round, kind of like a man who lived a life of money and pleasure, good food and privilege. Well, just as he came out of the shadows, he backed out again and disappeared into the darkness. From there, I suddenly saw before my eyes 
a beautiful display of color. I saw a sunset over the ocean that was so beautiful, startling, excuse me, starting at the top and going downward. It went from dark to purple to pink and orange. I saw the land to my right in a silhouette. I saw what looked like three destroyers facing to the right toward the land. What I saw next was so vivid. I saw what looked like the beginning of war. Above the destroyers, I saw three black helicopters. Let me say this again. I saw three black hawk helicopters. UH 60s above the ships. Two of the helicopters were struck with a missile and were on fire, spinning out of control toward the water. I felt like the missiles came from land, but I was not sure. When the helicopter started to spin down to the water, I saw the guns on the destroyers begin to fire. I stared at the scene trying to take it all in when it all went black. Then I saw a super bright glowing circle of light appear, which became the center of my attention. It rose from the land and started to rise up, out, like it was turning into something else. From it, it looked like white dove-like apparitions started to appear, excuse me, I got to say this again because I want to read it correctly. From it, it looked like white dove-like apparitions, apparitions starting to appear from where the reside, where the reside, okay, sorry, I don't know what that means, but anyway, from the white light, they were flying upwards in different directions. From there, it all faded to black. I saw nothing else. I waited and waited and saw nothing but black. After 20, after about 20 minutes, I opened my eyes and looked around the room. I looked at the clock. It was 1 a.m. I have no idea what I saw and why it was shown to me like this. This was no dream. I knew I was awake because I just closed my eyes and was praying. So what I was seeing was not a dream. In fact, I tried the next night. I closed my eyes in the dark room and tried even to imagine what I saw. I could see nothing. From there, I tried even to conjure up a daydream, so to speak. Complete darkness. Vivid in detail and color. This is not the first time I have seen face threes looking at me. When I first close my eyes at night, I see them often while praying or directly after. At times, they're horrible faces that are startling, that are staring at me. And other times, they're angry, hateful faces of men staring at me. I have to look away and open my eyes. I close my eyes and there they are again. It does not happen all the time. God. But I experienced it before. And it is very scary. All I can do is ask the Lord to protect my family. And I was asleep. Excuse me. Oh, I'm having a hard time. I'm sorry, you guys. All I can do is ask the Lord to protect my family and me as I sleep. And rebuke the faces in the name of the Lord. I'm glad he knew to rebuke the faces. Some saints, some Christians don't know what to do in those situations. Remember these few words. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Let go of me in the name of Jesus and on and on. Okay, listen. I didn't know where to go with this as it's, it's so fragmented and such limited info. The faces look like they're trying to stop me from praying. Mm -hmm. And the scene I saw showed to me what looked like ships facing north with the sunset behind them. 
and war started with the helicopters being attacked. From there, I saw what could only mean to me the rapture of the church. I can't tell you more than that. That's enough. Boy, oh boy. Yes, saints, we got to pray. I honestly, honestly, honest to God believe that the only reason all hell has not broken loose as of yet is because of the prayers of the saints. Remember this, this scripture in um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name, this is Pat's two cents now, so... Okay, that's the end of his dream. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. That's a promise from God, a conditional promise. Now, are we going to let this country go down the toilet, or are we going to humble ourselves and pray and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways? Or do we just want to play too much that we just don't really give a you-know-what what happens? Ask yourself that question. Then act accordingly. It's your life. God bless you.